One of the original restaurants of Walt Disney World is the Crystal Palace, and we're going to be eating there today. Looking forward to this meal. And they just recently switched back to a buffet and has on the menu Walt's favorites. So come along with us. So as you can see on the menu, you can see that there's salads and all kinds of other standard fare for a buffet. But on the bottom here, see how it says, look on the buffet for some of Walt's favorite dishes. Apparently they used real recipes, modernized them a little bit, but they use real recipes that Walt himself used to love. So let's go check it out. One of the decorations they have here is these amazing little topiaries inside of Tigger and Piglet. This usually is a character breakfast, Currently not operating, but we have these beautiful topiaries to kind of remind us of the friendship fair that they have here. And on the other side, we have Pooh and Eeyore. Again, just really, really fun topiaries that are inside the Crystal Palace. One of the things we have here is the Crystal Palace drink list. They do have beer and hard cider. I do recommend the Cigar City. It's very good. They have wine and they have a house-made white sangria, which I have heard is excellent. And I've also heard a lot of people talk about how much they like the mimosa here. So there's your alcohol selection at the Crystal Palace. So as you can see, this is the buffet area where you can go collect your food. It is a serve yourself. Um, I was expecting actually to be served, but I do appreciate the fact that it is still serve yourself. Um, they do have like this kids buffet. This one's actually currently being refilled. Uh, kids buffet has like some small pizzas and some miniature beef quesadillas and macaroni and cheese and chicken strips. And uh, I've never seen that on a buffet before. We do also have over here the uh, Parker House Rolls, which is a Walt's favorite with some pretzel rolls. And uh, we also have our standard butter and things like, and uh, our sauces and ketchup and things. And then you have salads and um, a meat and cheese charcuterie board. It also comes with a shrimp and crab claw, claw cocktail, which is pretty awesome, but you also have these meats and cheeses. Um, the fresh seasonal fruit is a Walt's favorite, and um, I think it's pretty awesome that they have these on this list. Over here, we have a little bit of like the meat station. We have country fried chicken um, with Walt's mashed potatoes, which obviously is his favorite, plus the green beans, which um, are green beans with bacon and onions, which appear to be a Walt's favorite. And we have braised beef short ribs, herb buttered corn, braised beef short ribs are on that list as well as the, as the corn. There's a lot of Walt's favorites right there in that first part. We have seared pork tenderloin, also a Walt's favorite. Um, and then we have roasted wild mushrooms, cheesy broccoli, wood grilled mahi-mahi with romesco sauce, olive caper reddish, basmati rice. We also have some canned peas and winter squash ravioli. We have a build your own loaded tater bites. That's pretty awesome. And the oven roasted pork belly, I've heard that that is incredible. Um, and then we have um, where you can get au jus, sour cream, and uh, Walt's favorite beef chili. Uh, that little station is there. And then in the center, we have the carving station. And the carving station is a nice prime rib with a horseradish cream sauce, and that prime rib looks great. Hi, Richie, how are we doing today? I'm well, thank you. Looking good back there. And uh, then over here we have our, of course, our desserts. And the desserts include um, French silk cupcake. Uh, French silk cupcake, you also have a butterscotch pudding and I've heard a lot of good things about that butterscotch pudding. You have this s'mores tart, which has like a smoky marshmallow on top. And then you have strawberry shortcake. So there's all your selections on the buffet. Plus, you do also have apple cobbler and cookies. And so there's all your selections on the buffet. Quite uh, a bunch of options with a lot of Walt's favorites. Time to dig in. So here's my selections. I got the uh, country fried chicken, the cornbread, bacon and cheddar cornbread. I got the pork belly, braised short rib, and I also got the bacon and onion green beans with the shrimp and crab claw cocktail. So I'm gonna try all these and uh, they're looking really, really good. All right, so um, I'm done with the, the main meal portion of the food. And I gotta say, 
Walt's favorites, incredible. The green beans with bacon and onions, amazing. The prime rib, wow. The au jus made it perfect, perfectly cooked. And shout out to Richie, who's the carver. <laughs> great personality. Everyone at my table had a great experience whenever they talked to him. He was just being, he was being great. And um, I gotta say that the fried chicken probably came in two behind the prime rib. Ooh, it's hard. Third place, oh, third place is that, that shrimp and crab cocktail. That was some good stuff. I'm gonna hit the desserts next, but so far, the Walt's favorites on this thing, everything, everything on the Walt's favorite list was great. And I tried everything that had the word Walt favorite on it, and it was great. I'm really impressed. Now I'm gonna go on to the desserts, which still has two more Walt's favorites on it, so here we go. Hey Mark, what'd you think of Crystal Palace? It was amazing. Uh, the quality of the food was incredible, and hands down, that prime rib is maybe the best I've had ever. Not just at Disney, but anywhere. Oh, yeah, I wholeheartedly agree. Yeah, fantastic. Great. Yeah. Thanks. You bet. Okay, I tried all of the Walt's favorite desserts. French silk cupcake, the apple crisp, and the butterscotch pudding. Of the three, I have to say that the butterscotch pudding was my favorite. It was surprisingly tasty. It has little pieces of caramel corn in it. Oh, it was very good. So I highly recommend all of the Walt's favorites on the menu. All of them were excellent. And I really feel like they did a fantastic job of turning this buffet into something that people will want to go to. So um, try your best to come and check out the new Crystal Palace buffet. It's really, really good. That being said, um, if you've eaten here, why don't you leave a comment? down below and let me know what you would think sounds great on that menu. Or have you eaten here before? Which one was your favorite? Um, if you could hit the subscribe button, that would be so helpful because that's the best way to help the channel. And if you would give the video a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. Anyway, I don't like to say goodbye because I'm gonna see you real soon. So, see you bye.